Oh, my phone. Oh, my phone. Oh, my phone's freaking out again. Oh. Hello, everybody. My name is Jared, and welcome to Jared Gaming. Welcome back to Simulacra 3. Once again, diving back in, I want to know what happens next. All right, we had a bit of a harrowing experience last time we played guiding Ruby out of the cabin while the Simulacra slash Beldum was after her. It was pretty fun to do, and now we got to find a way to defeat it. And it's going to take some time, I feel. Okay, Karen, what do you want? Oh, did I never did I never finish my conversation with her? She consulted the cards, gave me the cherry hangman two swords and told me that, you know, my choices matter. I won't keep you any longer stars since I never did I never Okay, I did I did finish the conversation. Oh, we just have a video for Karen here. Karen, I have a video for you. It's Amy. Are we claiming to be Amy or are we telling her the video is about Amy? <laughs> One moment, please. Heavens, this is why. You really didn't know Amy was doing? Never. If I did, I would have strayed her from this path. I wonder, is this why she wanted to hear more tales of the Belden? She said it brought her comfort, but was it all a lie? Obviously, it was a lie, but she was probably being manipulated. Thank you for this. I can't say it brings me peace, but the answers at least. Is that all you wish to tell me? Uh, you know about the Beldum rewrite protocol? It's my favorite book. Is that what he calls it? Paul explains something like that in a theory. Paul wanted some advice on stopping the curse, Amy's curse. Curses cannot be stopped, not fully, but they can be transformed into something else. The symbol is at the center of it. If we alter the curse itself, we might be able to neutralize its effects, repurpose it, not do any harm. Could someone change it back to its original form? You mean the simulacra? With enough knowledge and willpower, they could. But other than Amy and myself, there's no one in Stone Creek who could do it. Paul always theorized there was more to Beldum's story than we knew. If that's true, that means the current form of the Beldum is false, and what we're looking for is the true interpretation of her. He was supposed to look for her, and I'm not sure if he ever did. He sent me some sort of progress, but it looks incomplete. What did he send you? Tell me, Karen, I need all the information! This map in the town with some scribbles and a few locations marked, I don't really understand it. What is her true form? I mean, we know, it's the Sim. Rumors ever that she's a kind of gentle soul. Oh, she's a kind of gentle soul. Even in her last days, she never saw ill the ones who wronged her and murdered her. That's what inspired me to author the tale you found to reach me. Why not just make a new story? That would unleash more danger. Oh, truth is what drives curses. Even warped in its current form, the anger and sadness is based on real feelings. But it is possible. I would need some sort of imagery, representation of the real Beldum, to perform the ritual again. Then the Beldum will be made into a benevolent force. Or I can tweak the curse, redirect the Beldum to a new target. The Richardsons, the town council, their wicked blood like Jesus, Karen! Seriously? With her true form, she'll be harmless? That is correct, the curse will still exist. At most, people might report some ghost sightings here and there, but her presence won't be as destructive as it is now. Interesting. It's just gonna become another ghost story. And what's this about the council and other people you want to sick this thing on? Like, what the heck, Karen? I will make it so she only wields her will against those who've wronged her. Leave it to me. Amy is young, emotional. She'll unleash her rage to the entire town. Perhaps I can remedy that. The town's owed to justice. I don't know anything about this council and stuff, but do they really deserve to be freaking sucked into the simulacra realm? Revenge is never good. Let's just stick to the plan and find the true Beldum. You know, I've lived all my life in Stone Creek. It's likely where I'll spend the, my last moments as well. So much time here and I've lived most of it blinding myself to its faults. Well, I can't pretend anymore. I can't pretend that this town isn't poison, that it doesn't force people into extremes. I can't pretend that my friend didn't lose her life as a result of it. That anger she felt at the end, I've had it in me tucked away. Now I feel every ounce of it. Redirecting the Beldum to the corrupt leaders of this town will be justice. No, we're not doing that, Karen. We're not doing that. What happened to Amy was tragic, but that won't help you. Revenge is never the answer. It's not for me, it's for everyone we've lost. Think about it, Stone Creek would be a better place. No one would be driven to desperation again, not like Amy. We could prevent that. The suffering ends here. Karen, how do I spell this out to you? We're not doing that. Making the Beldum a weapon won't make Stone Creek better. It would, it's, it's a cool idea, but it's not going to work. But there's a chance it might... Oh, uh, am I a fool? The Beldum, your words, they have weight. It would be a wretched thing to use her as they have. I would have turned the tide to this town, but the answer is unclear. I'm conflicted. Amy and Paul wouldn't want more pain. Let's finish the plan. Stick to the plan, Karen. You're right. I let my weakness get the best of me. Bless you for making me realize this. Nothing could forgive my actions otherwise. You're doing the right thing. All right, let me transfer the document Paul sent me. It's a map with a note on it. 
I'm not sure what to make of it. Perhaps you do. I probably don't. Trace the past to the truth. Final location. Bunch of places. I'm not sure what it means. Lincoln on Atlas? There isn't such a feature on the app. Oh, there is. On my version. I got the super duper cool version. Paul's version of Atlas can do that. And I got his phone. So that's what it means. Perhaps you should look into the missing person reports from those locations and line them up somehow. Based on when they disappeared from the oldest case to the latest. Well, do you have any other insight that would be helpful? Let's see. Based on these locations, I'm familiar with three of them. A friend who went to church mentioned they were praying for someone who went missing. That was in November. I recall the missing poster at the library when I was borrowing some books that was in mid-December. I know a volunteer search party deployed near the fountain that was in early January. Fortunately, I can't help with the cases of the park or the bus stop. Perhaps Paul tried to contact the families for information. The local paper might have insights as well. They keep frequent reports on these developments. Hopefully this aids you enough. I got it, Karen. I don't need your help. <laughs> I'm grateful for your assistance. We will succeed. Will we, though, Karen? I don't know if that's true. Fantastic. We have a crap ton of chats. Why do we have so many chats suddenly? Gwen and Eric. Okay, who's Gwen? That's a lot of chat. Ask a few questions about Paloma. Who is this? The only police have this number. I need to clarify some things. Leave me and my family alone. So I think this is just another person who had a family member go missing and Paul was trying to get some information. Oh, maybe. Okay, bus stop. It was her birthday. She asked me to drop her off at the bus stop February 19th. So that's where this, that's where the bus stop fits into the timeline, I guess. And then we have Eric. Oh, so this guy actually got a hold of Eric. Paul, this is Eric, and he worked for Stone Creek County Council. Sir, you didn't have to drag my name into it, just write the emails. That's why I'm reaching out. I don't give a damn about science. There's a chance you can do something I want to help. I think I can. I want to talk to Paul, who sent me some pretty email. Check out this. Yes, actually, things went to shit broke in more ways than one. Maybe became real focused. What? How many are there? I'm over it. Petty, Petty Paul needs to come out more. He sounds like fun. This, this person's on the council and talks like a freaking creeper. Let's do a little check. We've got some emails. Unread Atlas. Jabber integration. Reply with your passphrase. Is there something I actually need to do? <laughs> Link to passphrase. Site. Oh. Complete the phrase. Select the correct four words. Excuse me? I do not know the words, so this is going to be no good. <laughs> Something from the council. I, uh, I know about Amy. I know this is an unusual request, but I need to speak to someone about Amy. It's urgent. There's a connection between her work and the disappearances going around Stone Creek. I want nothing more than this to end. It must be... Oh, so someone was reaching out to Paul. And it sounds like they wanted Paul to remove some stuff online, and Paul was having none of it. Okay. Okay, do we have any more, like, hidden locations? The truth. Uh... We may not have the truth yet, unfortunately. So we know the girl's birthday at the bus stop was in February. We don't know anything about the park yet. I'm going to start with the park, go with the bus stop. Then there was with well, a uh, volunteer search party at the fountain in January. Okay, it's possible March was the park. Maybe. So I feel like the fountain was the earliest one. The bus stop was in february the park would have been march miracle waters assembly would be the church in november and then the library would be december maybe fingers crossed okay they're getting to do more digging oh I yes i remember when we were in um paul's blog and we clicked on the little pictures it would show a word and at the time i didn't understand why i think we need those for the passphrase so we have return, treasure, leave, promise. Those were what we needed. Nice. Passphrase. Yes, the passphrase. Hey, we got all the words we need, I think. Leave, treasure, return, promise. What do we just download? We downloaded the Jabber source code. Oh. Okay, what do I do with this? Okay, well, we can now hack Jabber, I guess. Okay, well, I'm back to trying to trace the order of these events because I can't do anything else with the Jabber source code, at least not yet. Ah, dang it, we needed to scan this thing that Karen sent us. That's our missing piece. Locations mark where people were reported missing. Well, I wish there was something that would have told me that. I just spent, like, a long time looking for stuff and finding lots of dead ends. I bet you that's the truth. I bet you that's the truth. That is the... <laughs> 
Dang it. I've been looking for this forever. KP salvage solution. Only your own current problems give us a call and remove it for you in a flash. Thanks. So that's where things eventually end, at least according to the picture that we just saw. According to this, so we need to trace these and trace the past to the truth. So everything needs to lead to that. So that was the missing thing, I think. We may have had the order correct, but we needed to end at the salvage yard. Okay, so I think when Karen was telling us the person went missing in November, I think that's the actual start. I think it starts November, December, then January, February, March. Which would mean the church is the first spot, I think. And then the library. And then the fountain. The bus stop. And then the park. And then the salvage. Right? Hey! All we needed was that one little piece to get any kind of progress. Good lord. Chat, chat. Who we chatting with? Karen? I got it! You're never gonna believe this. Attach the Beldum. The true Beldum. Heaven, she's beautiful. I never knew that this was true representation of her, the Beldum. What a shame that people feel warped her in that twisted image we know today. You will see the light again. Just a moment, please. Oh, okay. I'm looking at it this time, and we're scanning it right away this time. The new Beldum. The mark of the simulacra attached to the image and narrative of the true Beldum of Stone Creek. Interesting. Thanks for everything, Karen. Never thought I'd be thinking of Karen. It is you who deserves the thanks, my child. Never lose the light. Farewell. My faith is with you all the way. Oh, Ruby just texted us. Ruby. Paul? You, Paul? You know Paul. You know damn well Paul isn't here. Paul's gone, Ruby. You know this. That, that's not true. He's here. Paul, you're here. This is in our last case. Um, are you, are you okay, Ruby? I think you saw something more in me. Something good. You tried to bring it out with this journey. It didn't work, Paul. Good isn't a switch, Paul. Good is a choice. Hey, hey, come back to me, Ruby. Come on back to me. And I want to get out of Stone Creek. And that's what I chose. You know that. So why do you keep saying it? Oh, Ruby, you losing it. You have to fight it, Ruby. Uh-oh. Uh you keep saying it's you. I'm not the person you think I am, Paul. The story is all I'm after. It's my only way out. I was never going to give it up that easily. If you wanted Stone Creek safe, you should have asked someone else. Mm, okay, uh, again, I'm not Paul. Karen gave me his new symbol to rewrite the Beldum Ruby. Come on, we're almost at the finish line here. Just hang in there. Didn't you, he didn't you hear me? It's useless. Uh, okay, I'll check with Thomas, I guess. Does it matter who I check with? Thomas, 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 uh... Thomas, I have a chance for you to redeem yourself. Redeem myself? No. I've had enough of your snarky comments. Our business is done. Why are you back? I know about the back door and your servers. Oh, but that gets us interest. Back door? What did you say? This has to be Paul. The last time I saw him, we got into an argument about it. Paul was trying to tell me about some symbol in his plan to stop it. He said to save Stone Creek, he needed to access Mirror Server so he could run a program to wipe every trace of it. When I wouldn't listen, he got upset. That was the end of it. Now I realize he wasn't asking for permission. Paul went through with it, didn't he? Yeah, he didn't, actually. He just gave it to me, kind of. <laughs> but I'm still supposed to be grateful there's an exploit in my servers thanks to him, that bastard being all honorable and crap. You can't have access. Mira is on the verge of a massive growth. The state of this town, and not to mention the missing employees, is hindering that. There's no room for mistakes. Unless, there might be something to make this a mutual exchange. I have a proposition for you. I'm listening, Thomas. Finally, there's someone sensing you after all. Mira is in talks with Jabber about a partnership. Paul was supposed to design a prototype to secure the deal. Is that what the Jabber or source code thing was? Without it, it all falls apart. As luck would have it, he took it with him when he left. If you could find the program and send it to me, I'll give you full access to our servers. Go wild, save the town, do what you want. Just like that, what's the catch? Guys like this, there's always a catch. No catch. I may be a hard sell, but I'm not a monster. The Jabber deal is integral to securing Mira's future. Imagine connecting all that is special about Stone Creek to the rest of the world. Tourism, talent, exports, you name it. Who knows, if things go well, an acquisition might be on the table. <laughs> that means what's happening here might spread, <laughs> dude. You have no idea what's going on. Yeah, that's what I said. What's with the ominous tone? 
With Jabber, Mira's position will be solidified as the lifeblood of this town. Paul was on board the project since the start, but he pulled back last minute. Now that we're both in a little conundrum, we can help each other out, so I ask you again. Will you get Paul's prototype? Don't you think Paul might have had a reason for his decision? I know he has, doesn't mean I have to agree with it. Look, there are tons of small towns in this country. No one remembers them left on their own to run in their little corners. Paul and I believe this town could be special, that there's a future for us. I can't back out just because he's afraid of whatever monster of the week he found. Don't use Paul to justify yourself. You are a monster, Thomas. I mean, he wanted the same thing. We just had different methods. You might not believe this. Paul and I share the same vision. We wanted to reinvigorate this town. It's a legacy built on distrust. You have no right. Maybe Paul's heart was in the right place, but his action to put everything in jeopardy. The prototype, the deal, is the key to the town's future. I need it. He knew that. You don't need a deal. To achieve your vision, you need good people. Let's set this boy straight. And I had them. Jeff, Paul, Mira suffered huge losses. If I fail now, there's no chance of rebuilding. Paul was the master behind, behind Miratech's software. Without him, we're finished. But the prototype can springboard a new opportunity. It's a lifetime for me to save Mira, save my team, save the vision. Paul wouldn't have wanted it like this. Paul? Paul was the idealist between the two of us. He's soft, always wants better for others. They say it was delusional to start a tech company in this town, but I knew it was the right choice. Stone Creek is a special place made exceptional by the people here. I'm proud of how far we've come. When the mayor wanted to turn Stone Creek into a tourist destination and offered to fund Mira's growth, it was perfect. Paul was hesitant, but I convinced him. This is how we do it. I want to honor that one last time. Yeah, I don't want to give this guy the prototype if he's just going to spread the freaking simulacra all across the world. That's not like the worst thing we could do, I think. The prototype won't honor him, but the protocol will. I can't believe I'm... You made your point. I'll... Oh, he's going to work with us? I don't believe him for a second. You'll do what? I want to hear you say it. Don't play dumb. I'll give you the access to Mira's servers. The truth is, Mayor Richardson won't give us a success on our terms. He threatened to pull funding unless we rake down profit ASAP. All they care about is their pockets, not Stone Creek. You're right. Paul's right. Uh, oh, God, hold on. I, Mira, will find another way. It's just admitting defeat. I'm, I'm ashamed. Okay, before we respond, reviewing this and scanning it, because last time I didn't do that, I forgot to do it, and it set me back like 20 minutes. Override program. Nice. Paul would be grateful. I'd like to think so. All the sentimentality is his influence. Use it well, would you? Goodbye. Oh, Ruby's talking to me again. Ruby! There's a different way that can end, Brooke. She showed me nothing has to be destroyed. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's in your head, Ruby. Come on, you're stronger than this, Ruby. Don't worry, she can see inside yours, too. Resisting won't fix this, won't fix Stone Creek, won't fix me. It only disappears if I disappear. It's lying to you. Don't listen to it. It's trying to manipulate you. Then does it bring me so much peace? You're invited to witness the end, Brooke. I'm finally leaving Stone... Stone... Wait, what? We're still in this together, Ruby. Don't... Don't leave. Ruby? Ruby, you there? Damien's the last one. Let's finish this. All right, Damien. Persephone. Found a way to stop the symbol. Eek, insect, it's you. Didn't I tell you to leave me out of this? I gave you everything about Jeff. What more do you want? I don't remember what voice I had for Damien. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the Beldum rewrite protocol sound familiar, Damien? He he went with that? Though we agreed on Ding Dong, the glitch is dead. <laughs> I mean, what protocol? All right, you got me. After Jeff, Paul told me all about it. Something about forcefully releasing the real image of the Beldum on Atlas. All I know is that we wrote some sort of software to do it, but it needs other parts to work. What other parts? Tell me. Time is of the essence. There's some things I can't get my hands on that Paul was persistent about. The backdoor script into Atlas. There's no way of getting that unless Thomas hands it over himself. I got it. I got it, dude. That and some sort of long forgotten records about the Beldum. Can't recover anything that was burned down or buried. What can you tell me about the app? Oh, someone just dropped a ping pong ball. Sophisticated piece of tech it is. It's a deployment tool that enables users to replace any instance of images or videos throughout social media. Actually, the amp should be preloaded on his phone. We just need to know how to find it and access it. Is that what I got the passphrase for? I don't know. Paul mentioned he gave you a key. A key? He didn't give me any key. All he gave me notes, documents, contacts. Wait a minute. I remember now. Why didn't I see it before? I think I know how to access the amp. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on. I'm getting to it. So one of the stuff Paul sent me was a contact. It was just a word, not even a name. 
telling me that's a way to access a killer app. I mean, I thought it was referring to the next coming of Jabber or something. I didn't think he actually meant killer app, you know, to kill the Beldum. Uh, can I have it? Can you give it to me? No. Yes. Reluctantly, yes. <laughs> Just give me the damn thing, you weirdo. He said to only give it to Ruby, but she's not here and you know her, so this is so cool. It's as if his will compels those around him to finish what he started. Are you done? You done freaking out, you little weirdo? Yes. No. Perhaps. Just give me the rewrite protocol. Give it to me. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Contact information. Please fill in necessary. Per oh, okay. Percep oh, Damien's still talking to me. Dang it. My mem if my memory serves me right, when I asked how to access it, he said, think of me when you want to access it. He gave me a wink and said something. So that must mean something. Clarification, me as in Paul, not Damien. Some help would be great. <laughs> I like that we have the option to ask for help in this one. It's all coming together. What could it be? Cipher, code word, an anagram? Or maybe think of me as in put his details. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of assumed that was the case, but I was hoping for a little bit more. Good luck, bud. There's some chatter my squished melon, and I kind of... Okay, sure, whatever, dude. Freaking weirdo. Oh, my phone. Oh, my phone. Oh, my phone's freaking out again. Oh, it's doing a thing. Oh, there is a thing down there. It's a fire extinguisher. <laughs> is that it? Okay, it was just... <laughs> the lights were just going down. Okay, oh, we got so many new things now. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. We're getting pretty close to finishing this, I think. But I'm really digging it, and I can't wait to see what happens. Hope you guys are enjoying it, too. If you are, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think is happening here. If you're new to the channel and you've watched this entire video and you like these Simulacra games, I've played one and two, and we're almost done with three. If you haven't watched the other ones, go watch them. Come back soon, and this should be concluded quite soon. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon, and I'll see you in the next video.